Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium back with a review, vlog, or an unboxing. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, Zeltrax Millennium here, bringing you a new review for once. This time we're taking a look at Transformers Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse Optimus Prime, which is pretty much the Legends class. Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. Now, as you can see, he's still on his box. That's because they just got him today. I didn't know he was going to be in the store until I found him and said, Wow, pick him up. And also, you're probably wondering, what in the heck is that thing in the background? Well, that is Hunt for the Decepticons Hailstorm. However, we're not reviewing him today. Because this guy is going to be for the One Shell Stand. Because he commissioned me to custom paint this guy. Well, the One Shell Stand told me to surprise him with the color scheme. And I'm completely drawing a blank on the color scheme. So if you guys know of any good color schemes to put on this figure, please let me know in a YouTube PM. So without any further ado... Let's take a look at the packaging for Cyberverse Optimus Prime. Oh, and you can kind of see my shirt in the background. <laughs> so, right here we got the logo for Transformers Dark of the Moon, with the moon in the background, of course. We got Prime, Optimus Prime, limited edition preview pack. It also got 3D glasses for Transformers.com, which I'll probably try at the end of this review. Back of the box, shows his stats, strength, intelligence of 10, speed of 7, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast, 10, skill is 9. So, nice. Prime is awesome. So now, let's take, now let's get on with the rest of the review by taking him out of the packaging. Now we have Cyberverse Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. This, this vehicle mode really looks nice, especially for a Legends class figure. Well, it's perceived to be as... It's perceived to be a Legends class speaker, so we're just going to call it that for now. Um, the grill's nicely painted. Um, the f his flames are nicely painted this time, too. Unlike some other versions that aren't painted. Yeah, there are a few, there are a few minor things, like hubcaps aren't painted. The, uh, the stoplights in the back here aren't painted. The, uh, trailer hitch back here isn't painted. But I can get behind that. It's a, it's a Legends class figure. What can you do? Well, aside from making this thing complete, completely an absolute cannon fodder for custom painting. That's what I'm probably going to do after this review. But, yeah. He can roll very nicely. Sorry for the blurriness, but I got the... But I am, I'm going to refocus this thing right now. That's better. Now, this guy can roll very nicely, though the first time when I transformed him, before I started the review again, is his legs are right here, which means you got to make this thing absolutely flush in order for it to move right, because almost all the time when you don't have it flush, it's going to drag. Like, I can kind of see the back wheels right here not moving, but I can get behind that. And also, he's got this humongous trailer hitch. Or, just this trailer. But, let's take that off. So, it, let's take this off so we can actually take a look at that. <clears throat> there we go. And also, you got a uh, kind of a flight mode for Optimus in vehicle mode. Um, yeah, looks absolutely terrible. Let's get it. Let's take that off and forget about it forever. <clears throat> there we go. So let's take a look at his backpack. Obviously, this is going to be his jetpack for when he goes into vehicle, which he, for when he goes into robot mode, which I will get to in a second. Yeah, the the detailing on this thing is absolutely nice. The turbine turbines right here are nicely detailed. After one, two, three, four, five, six afterburners, because that's how many afterburners that that's how many afterburners Prime needs. Six afterburners. And also, two of the afterburners are his giant laser cannons. Which he'll promptly use in robot mode. Which I will get to in a second, actually. But yeah. 
These things do articulate up and down. They go up about that high, down that high. So when you put it onto his vehicle mode, you gotta have it like this in order for it to connect right. Uh, when I was fooling around with this thing before I started the review, uh, I had this thing on backwards. It's a brand new toy, can you blame me? So, anywho, oh yeah, the uh, back bit right here isn't painted as well, so I am going to paint this thing up and probably make an addendum video of showing how the Cyberverse Prime looks. So now, let's go into robot mode and let's see how that guy looks. Now we have Cyberverse Optimus Prime in his robot mode. This robot mode really looks nice. I mean, of course there's unpainted detail on this thing. But that's what's that's what my duty as a custom painter will do. Is paint in all these extra details. Like the uh windshield wipers right here, they're not fully finished, so I'll go and do that. And uh the arms aren't really painted at all. The legs aren't painted at all. Or for the most point. For the most part, anyway. Um, his head, not really painted as well. I'm actually stop the camera so I can show you the face. There we go. That's better. So now, as you can see, the face has really nice detail. Though, a lot of that detail is missed once again. I mean, there should be blue on the sides of his visor mouth, I guess. And his eyes aren't even painted in, so he's so he might as well be blind. Hey, what can you do? <coughs> Sorry, still finding that cough. I am taking antibiotics for it. Okay, let me refocus. There we go again. Now let's take a look at this guy's articulation. He his arms are on a ball joint, so it'll go all the way around and not in like that. Out very far, it's got a double double elbow joint, but that's part and parcel due to his transformation and such like that. Also, his legs can go back really far, forward very far, and his knees are a single joint, which is kind of sad. And the head is completely static. It can't move whatsoever, which is kind of sad. And I I can really recommend this to a, a lot of fans of Transformers, including of the new movie Dark of the Moon, which I hear is surprisingly excellent from the trailers. Anywho, how to convert this be this thing to a a jetpack for Optimus? What do you do? You take these off, pull these bits out, go to the back. You see that spoke we found last time? There's two clips. One for the vehicle mode and one for the robot mode right here. So you just take the robot mode clip. Let me just do this on camera. You take the clip. And you just snap it in until it fits into place. And now it can wiggle a bit. And take the blasters. Stick them in either hand. It doesn't really matter. So, is Cyberverse Prime recommended? Yes, he is, if you can find him real cheap. Um, he should be at Walmart for about $7.97, so I recommend you find him, since he is a limited figure. So, uh, stay tuned for more reviews, and uh, if you want some more, go if you, if you would like some Gokaiju Ranger Keys customized for you, let me know in the comments below, or in a PM. So, Turks Millennium, signing off. Good luck. Laters.